Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today I'm back with a lesson on how to make a sweet keychain in Lightburn. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, so the first thing you need is a font, and you need your words, and then you need to make a hole. I make mine five millimeters in size. I've got one already designed that I'm gonna import quickly. Remember, this button is your import. I know mine was saved with something about Mount Pisgah, so I'm gonna press Enter, and let's bring it up. So right here it is. I'm gonna open it, and let's see how it looks. Exactly what I wanted. So friends, let me bring this up here closer, and let's zoom in. All right, friends, I made this last year. I'm not sure what the font is, and I'm not at home, so the fonts are different on my computers. I will try and track this font down, and I'll leave it in the description. So the first thing I want to do is I want to switch this up so it's not grouped. So I'm going to hit Arrange and Ungroup, or you could have used Control-U. Now I know that I want this to cut, so I'm going to use my number 2, which does a speed of 70, a power of 60, and it does 6 passes. I'm going to choose the yellow, and I've got it set for fill plus line, 100 speed, 17 max and min, 1 pass, and I set the interval millimeters to 0.15. This material is some plywood that was given to me, and I'm just trying to find the right settings, and you're watching exactly how I do it with a little bit of guess and check. All right, friends, so then the coolest part about this is I can grab these two shapes, and if we go to tools, there is an awesome offset shapes button. When we hit this, it does my keychain shape automatically. Now, right now it's set for a distance of five. I'm gonna change that to 4.5 by simply typing 4.5 and pressing enter. Notice it shrinks it a little bit more. Boom, I have instantly got the awesome keychain shape. I'm gonna set it to be cut as well. I really like that it's a closer design, but you will notice there is this little piece in the middle. We can just click on that and once again do the arrange ungroup and now I can click on that center piece and hit delete so that I don't end up with a hole in my keychain. Now it is all set and we can send it to the laser cutter. All right, friends, so we're gonna add some new skills. Right here, I'm gonna use the controller to nudge it to the exact spot where I wanna start my first keychain. Now I'm gonna move to the PC and in Lightburn, I'm gonna switch to the move option and click get position. So because it was connected via USB, it was able to double check that. I'm gonna hit current position for where I wanna build, and I'm gonna start the job from that left quarter because that's how I oriented it. If I hit frame, I can do a quick double check, and then we can simply go over, hit start, and make ourselves a keychain. How cool is that? And friends, there you have it. In just a couple minutes, a freshly cut Mount Pisgah keychain. Alrighty, everybody. So here we have it. Epic keychain created in minutes using Lightburn in that epic offset tool. Friends, I also want to send a shout out to Tech Turtle. Oh my gosh, thanks for the nudge for me to get in here and learn more skills. I'm not going to kid you, friends. I'm learning with you. I try and always make things clear and concise. Friends, I also want to send a shout out to Tech Turtle. Thanks so much for giving me a nudge to add some more skills as I'm working with Lightburn. I'm not going to kid y'all. I'm learning along with you how to use my OMT laser and Lightburn. <laughs> so tips and advice are appreciated. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.